idea, I guess, you know, the, as you say, the, the extreme reaction, the, Repu the Re Republican reaction to go into the, down this Tea Party yep. line. I mean, do you, do you see anyone in the Republican Party that you know, could potentially come out with some sensible reforms that, um, that, would, uh, would, that would actually be what America needs? Or do you, do you think they really are destined to, because I mean, I'd be very struck with the reaction to, to my book on the Republican side, which has been to reject any attempt at sort of sensible reform of capitalism and just mm -hmm. to say, let's go back to this fantasy yep. of uh, a world where there's no government at all and everything is happily ever after. Yeah, I, I frankly, I, I don't see it in, in, in the Republican Party. You know, the two parties are becoming more divided, as I said. You know, it's not uh, George Bush one Republican Party or the kind of East Coast Republicans. It's really the kind of Tea Party Republicans who have control there. And from a political point of view, the Republican decided, in my view, that it's in their own interest to stall. You know, after all, the one in Virginia, the one in New Jersey, the one in Massachusetts, they believe that if they stall on everything, they might win the midterm election. They believe that Obama is going to be one-term president. So their attitude until now has been, you know, let's stall on everything because political is to our advantage, even if it's not good for the country. It's a bit uh, like the Leninist approach, uh, Tom Pee, Tom Mio, the worse the better. If we stall and everything gets worse and the economy gets worse and markets collapse, we're going to go back to power. And of course, that's terrible for the country. But politically, so far, it has worked to their advantage and I fear that they have absolutely no incentive to collaborate and therefore there is no bipartisanship. And certainly, even on the Democratic side, uh, some of the policy of the Obama administration have not been of trying to go in the direction of bipartisanship. So I see actually the two parties really, there's a nice new book called The Disappearing Center by Political Scientists. And I think that's what's happening you know, in Washington. I spoke with somebody senior has followed the Washington for a long time. He says, I've never seen so much, not just lack of bipartisanship, but hatred between the two parties uh, in the last 30 years. They're totally divided. There is almost no, no center. And that's, that's a risky thing in the US.